8.45. This is a Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. Here is the news. Edited by Danushka Madhavala and read by Indrani Senanayaka. The headlines. The President, launching the school meal program, says nurturing a vibrant generation of healthy children is essential. Minister of Justice says no election postponements expected despite electoral amendments. The general public is requested to observe the auspicious timing set by the State Astrologers Committee. Minister Dr. Bandula Gunavardhana makes an observation visit to inspect the renovated Romanian railway compartments. In foreign news, Moscow attack. Russian court charges four men with act of terrorism. In sports news, NBA. Anthony Davis and LeBron James lead LA Lakers to win over Indiana Pacers. President Ranil Vikramasinghe emphasized the importance of holistic education, advocating for a curriculum that includes both academic subjects and nutritional support for children across the country. He also underscored the necessity of integrating modern technologies like artificial intelligence into the educational framework, highlighting the government's commitment to reforming the school education and examination systems. President Vikramasinghe made these remarks during the inauguration of the 2024 school meal program at Sujata Balika Vidyalaya in Narahinpita this morning. The initiative led by the Minister of Education aims to provide nutritious meals to all students from grades 1 to 5 nationwide. Following the President's directive, breakfast will be served between 7.30 and 8.30 a.m., aligning with expert recommendations on optimal nutrition timing. Under the banner of a healthy active generation, the 2024 school meal program seeks to address nutritional deficiencies among students, enhance daily attendance rates, instill healthy eating and lifestyle habits, elevate academic performance and promote local culinary traditions. This year's school feeding program benefits 1.6 million students encompassing primary grade pupils from 9,134 government schools as well as schools with fewer than 100 students. The government has earmarked a budget of 16.6 billion rupees allocated directly to the nine provincial councils with additional sponsorship from organizations such as the World Food Programme and the United States Department of Agriculture. Local suppliers supply the necessary food for this nutritional initiative, contributing to the growth of the country's manufacturing economy by generating new jobs directly and indirectly. Justice, Prison Affairs and Constitutional Reforms Minister Dr. Bijay Dasa Rajapaksha assured that the election amendments bill presented to Parliament are not anticipated to result in any postponement of the elections. The minister highlighted that promises to combat corruption and reform the electoral system have been made in presidential elections since 1994, but none have been fulfilled. He also noted that President Ranil Vikramasinghe has already submitted amendments aimed at tackling corruption and implementing a proportional election system. Justice prisons... Affairs and Constitutional Reforms Minister, President's Council, Dr. Vijay Dasa Rajapaksha, was addressing a press briefing held at the Presidential Media Centre today under the theme of Collective Path to a Stable Country. Minister Vijay Dasa Rajapaksha, adding to his remarks, also stated that as a critical democratic principle, it is essential that people are informed about the laws being proposed in Parliament. Currently, our country's laws only recognize rape as a violation against women. However, with the new amendments, the law can be applied irrespective of the victim's gender. For instance, sexual violence perpetrated by a husband against a legally separated wife will be considered rape under these amendments. Furthermore, there is a proposal to strengthen the penalties for coercion occurring in police custody, prisons or under someone else's control. This news comes to you from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. We continue with local news. The Ministry of Buddha Sasana 
religious and cultural affairs advises the public to observe the auspicious timings set by the state astrologers committee for the singhala and tamil new year celebrations it urges everyone to adhere to the list of auspicious timings issued by the committee Deputy Speaker of the Parliament Ajit Rajapaksha along with the members of Parliament Dr Harini Amarasuriya Chief of Staff and the Deputy Secretary General of Parliament of Sri Lanka Mr Chaminder Kularatna participated in the 72nd Westminster Conference held at the British Parliament in London recently representing the Sri Lanka Parliament a delegation including members of parliament and parliamentary secretaries representing about 28 commonwealth countries participated in this conference parliamentary traditions of commonwealth member countries privileges and powers of mps committee system ways of enacting constitutional orders and their traditions modern social media and technology and how research methods are used in the role of mps were discussed Several Romanian railway compartments that had been discarded were renovated by the Sri Lanka Railways Chief Mechanical Engineers Sub Department Ratmalana in order to attract local and foreign tourists. The old railway compartments have been refurbished and the roof has been removed so that the passengers can enjoy sightseeing more easily. The compartments include comfortable wooden seats for the tourists. The amount spent by the railway department of this project is 5.5 million rupees. Minister Dr. Bandolo Gunavardhana made an observation visit to the sub department premises today in order to observe these compartments. That ends the local segment of news. The main news story is brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. The Indonesian ambassador H.E. Devi Gustina Tobing paid a courtesy visit to Defence Secretary General Kamal Gunaratna today at the Defence Headquarters Complex Sri Jayawardenepura Kote. Following a warm reception, the Defence Secretary held a cordial discussion with the envoy and conveyed his regards to the government of Indonesia for its eagerness to foster close relationships, particularly in defence cooperation with Sri Lanka. The meeting was centered on enhancing collaboration in areas of mutual interest including military training, strategic partnerships and security initiatives. The military liaison officer of the Ministry of Defence, Major General Damika Velagedara, also joined the Defence Secretary at the meeting. The main news story was brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. What's life is brought to you by CIB Navy offer valuable gifts and gift vouchers 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April visit CIB today CIB revives bonds always Dermatologists are terming the increasing spread of the tinea fungal infection as an epidemic they warn the fungal infections is being the most second common skin complication observed in skin clinics in the country consultant dermatologist dr indira kahavita said that fungal infections were the second most common skin complications being reported from skin clinics she added that the recent spread of tinea could be termed as an epidemic as the organism causing the infection has changed in the last few years CIB Navy offer valuable gifts and gift vouchers 25% discount for bank cards till 10th of April visit CIB today CIB revives bonds always Coming up world news First the headlines Moscow attack Russian court charges four men with act of terrorism Boeing chief executive to leave as firm faces safety crisis Nigeria stampede a charity cash handout event kills seven in Bauchi Russia has charged four men It says attacked a Moscow concert hall and killed at least 137 people. All four appear to have been beaten and one was brought to court in a wheelchair. They were charged with committing an act of terrorism. The Islamic State group or IS said it carried out Friday's outrage at Crocker City Hall and posted video 
evidence. Russian officials have claimed without evidence Ukrainian involvement. Kiev says the claim is absurd. However, no Russian official has acknowledged the claim and Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said in a news conference today that it was inappropriate to comment on it until the investigation had been completed. He also said that because of this tense international situation, there was little collaboration between countries on fighting terrorism. Boeing boss Dev Calhoun will leave at the end of this year amid a deepening crisis over the firm's safety record. Boeing also said that the head of its commercial airlines division will retire immediately while its chairman will not stand for re-election. The firm is under pressure after an unused door blew out of a Boeing 737 MAX in January shortly after takeoff. No one was injured, but the firm's safety and quality control standards came under renewed scrutiny. Mr. Calhoun took on the chief executive role in early 2020 after the previous boss, Dennis Muellenberg, was ousted in the aftermath of one of the biggest scandals in its history. Within the space of five months, two brand new 737 MAX planes had been lost in almost identical accidents that claimed the lives of 346 passengers and crew. Mr. Callum took over. He promised to strengthen Boeing's safety culture and rebuild trust. Seven people, including an eight-year-old girl, have been killed in a stampede at a charity event in Nigeria yesterday. A businessman in the northeast of Nigeria had invited residents to collect 5,000 naira each. The event attracted a big crowd. Recent economic strife has left many desperate for help. 5,000 naira could feed an average family for a day. Police confirmed that seven people Four adult women and three girls aged between 8 and 55 were killed in the incident, though some locals have put the death toll higher. The authorities have said they are now investigating what happened. To end this bulletin of world news, the headlines again. Moscow attack. Russian court charges four men with the act of terrorism. Boeing chief executive to leave as firm faces safety crisis. Nigeria stampede charity cash handout event kills seven in Bauchi. That ends this bulletin of world news. Development news. According to the data of the Coconut Development Authority, it has been possible to earn an income of 3,439 million rupees by exporting coconut water from Sri Lanka by February 2024. The amount earned by exporting coconut water during the same period last year was 2,705 million rupees. According to the chairman of the Coconut Development Authority, Professor Roshan Pereira, there has been an increase in export income of 734 million rupees by the pre-spring months of this year compared to last year. These facts were revealed in a discussion chaired by the Minister of Agriculture and Plantation Industries, Mr. Mahinda Amarwira, this morning. Moving on with sports news. Anthony Davis and LeBron James starred as the Los Angeles Lakers put in their highest scoring performance in 37 years to hold off the Indiana Pacers. The Lakers won 150 to 145 with 36 points and 16 rebounds from Davis, while James added 26 points and 10 assists. Indiana scored 46 points in the final quarter, but the Lakers hit 10 in the last minute for a third successive win. The Lakers, who start a runoff six away games on Tuesday, are ninth in the Western Conference and have 11 matches remaining in the 82-game regular season. The top eight qualified for the end of the season playoff. The Pacers are sixth in the Eastern Conference and have 10 games to play. That was sports news. Go ekatiana youth ticket life ticket change ticket niyamita set penna aswa hagena dekha puina hame karna youth ticket niyamita set penna friendship ticket menna. The all new NSB Itro Mitro account NSB I am a plan for your dream. Business news. 
Sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. The EU has announced investigations to some of the biggest tech firms in the world over uncompetitive practices. Meta, Apple and Alphabet, which owns Google, are being looked into for potential breaches of the Digital Markets Act introduced in 2022. If they are found to have broken the rules, the firms can face huge fines of up to 10% of their annual turnover. The EU antitrust boss and the industry head announced the investigations today. Just six companies have obligations under the EMA, but they are also the world's largest tech firms. Alphabet, Apple, Meta, Amazon, Microsoft and ByteDance. None of the firms are actually based in Europe. Five of them are in the US, while ByteDance has headquarters in Beijing. Business News. Sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Go ekatiana youth ticket, life ticket, change ticket, near meta set trainer. As for Hagena, the Kukuhida, Habakarana, youth ticket, near meta set trainer, friendship betamenda. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. We now take a look at economic news. The number of people leaving the workforce in the UK due to long-term sickness is at its highest since the 1990s. A report from the Resolution Foundation suggests that adults economically inactive due to ill health rose from 2.1 million in July 2019 to a peak of 2.8 million in October 2023. It is the longest sustained rise since 1994 1998, when records began. The government said its recent budget measures are estimated to boost the labour force by 300,000 workers. The Foundation's report comes after the Office for National Statistics said more than a fifth of UK adults were not looking for work, and that was economic news. Weather report. And finally, we take a look at the weather report. Several spells of showers will occur in the eastern and over provinces and in the Polonaro district. Showers or thunder showers will occur at several places in the western, Sabragamoa, southern and central provinces during the afternoon or at night. Heavy showers of about 100 millimetres are likely at some places in the southern province and in the Monaragla district. Misty conditions can be expected at some places in the central, Sabragamoa and over provinces and in the Kalutara, Gaul and Matara districts during the morning hours. To end tonight's news broadcast, we'll take a look at the headlines again. The president launching the school meal program says nurturing a vibrant generation of healthy children is essential. Minister of Justice says no election postponements expected despite electoral amendments. The general public is requested to observe the auspicious timing set by the State Astrologers Committee. Minister Dr. Bandula Gunavardhan makes an observation visit to inspect the renovated Romanian railway compartments. In foreign news, Moscow attack. Russian court charges four men with active terrorism. In sports news, NBA. Anthony Davis and LeBron James lead LA Lakers to win over Indiana Pacers. And that ends tonight's news broadcast. The time reads four minutes past nine o'clock. This is Radio Sri Lanka.